We are sitting here with Jack Wells of Belfouche, who is quite a famous man in this town, really, and had a very special birthday recently. You were born in 1923. You're a World War II veteran, and you've seen a lot of changes in this world that's happened in the last 100 years. So give us just a little bit of background, Jack. You know, you mentioned that you were born in Mitchell. You kind of had a few moves, but you ended up in the Belfouche community at some point. So just give us a little background of yourself. Well, I still remember growing up in Mitchell. Uh, one time I was about three in 1927. All the women, see in those days, no women worked. They were all on 7th Street. There must have been 50 kids and 40 or 50 women in this one block out in the middle of the street. And they were all kind of looking up and pretty soon they all said, there he comes, there he comes. It was Lindbergh and he flew over and I remember he dipped the wings and went on. So that, to me, I still remember that just plain as day. Wow. I had the pleasure of selling newspapers when a lot of historic things happened. Mm -hmm. And my uncle had a 27 Buick car and he used to take I and my mother and father up to Rushmore when they were first building it. We used to pile the pine wood, eight foot long, one foot wide, four foot high, and sell, delivered any place in Rapid City for a dollar and a half. <laughs> and the amount of work there was unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. Then when my father died, my uncle had moved and had a good job in Belfouche. Mm. And he said, you better move in with us. So that's why I moved to Belfouche. Oh, okay. But Belfouche has been a great trade town. Mm. Back in the 40s and 50s and 60s, you couldn't get a parking place on Thursday because that's when they sold all the cattle in town out at the sales yard. Mm -hmm. we, I got to know all the, most of the ranchers, the old original guys. It was interesting talking to them. Mm -hmm. Belfouche just all in all has been good to me and my family. Jack found a passion for building and worked at the lumberyard. He took a course in home building and went to drafting school, then got married and they had four children. Working at the lumberyard, I drew probably 100 or 200 house plans. And then I got to building houses myself with different carpenters. I averaged about a house plan a week at the lumberyard. Oh, wow. That was after the war, so everybody was needed to house all the veterans. It just had a great life. <laughs> Jack, a self-proclaimed workaholic, has ventured in many opportunities and has owned an antique store and a plumbing company. He understood the value of good work ethic. So looking back at, at your life, you know, 100 years have gone by. I guess, what, what are your reflections of those 100 years? I learned right away, my granddad and dad both said, if you want to eat good, you got to work hard. If you want to buy a better car, you work a little harder. <laughs> and you've got to be honest. Mm. If you aren't honest, you're going to be in trouble. The community of Belfouche celebrated Jack this year, his contributions and legacy to the community, and even proclaimed a Jack Wells Day in Belfouche and a Jack Wells Avenue. At 100 years, he is still going strong and grateful for another day. So I've had a great life. <laughs> and even now at this age, I still enjoy everything. <laughs>